What is going on, everybody? We are back on at One Piece episode 127. I want to say we're finally coming down to the end here. When I started this arc, um, I had a Patreon member tell me the amount of episodes it was. It was, I think they said it was from like 80 to, I, I can't remember the exact number, but I remember I was like, holy shit, that's a lot of episodes. Um, I can't remember what that final number is, but I feel like we've got to be, I mean, we've got to be there. Um, I feel like we're dragging, it's really dragging, um, and only because, like, things are just stretching so, so long. It's kind of like those, um, and I've been saying this for the last five or so episodes, those early, um, Dragon Ball, like, Namek, Frieza saga of where, like, we really could have sliced, like, 30 to 40 of these episodes off, but that was this, that's just how animes were back then, you know? Um, I want to say Crocodile is defeated, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, all, and then what do you do about the other Boric work members that are, like, on each side still trying to antagonize? I know everyone stopped here and it's raining, but, like, are they still going to try to incite violence? I have no idea. Um, the tomb is collapsing on the king and um, Nico Robin, but they'll get out of there somehow. I, I'm sure it'll be Luffy's doing, because he's the only, he's the only one that knows that they're down there. And we'll just see how this, how this wraps up and ends. We're going to try something new. So we've been keeping, you know, we've been keeping it hundred percent bright. We're going to stick to that because it's been knock on wood, been great so far, as far as YouTube, not having any issues with it. Haven't done it with one piece yet, but I've done it with demon slayer and invincible and, um, Attack on Titan. I'm going to try to add a little bit of audio with the one. I'm just trying to add to the videos um, just to make it more enjoyable for you guys. So you guys can see it. Maybe you can hear it. You know, if you guys don't care about the volume or anything like that, um, just want to try to make the experience better. Um, we're just spitballing ideas, you know, to make the video stand out, make the reaction stand out, make the channel stand out. Patreon is going to see this weeks ahead of um, YouTube. So YouTube, if you see this without any audio, know that it didn't work. <laughs> and if you do, then expect the next, you know, however many episodes to, to be that way. So let's go ahead and do it. We're pressing play on the episode right now. Pop up right now. Nope. Now? There we go. Yeah, so she's got to explain this whole thing. Yeah, they're st they're, just because it's raining doesn't mean... Nobody ca they can't hear you all the way back there. That's just unrealistic that they would hear her ass. They're going to start fighting again. Does she think that would be it? Is that uh, the hound, old dog boy? Chakasama. But there's still members in there, though. There he is. We've been. <laughs> Where the hell has he been? How are you alive? I think it makes sense. And, like, unscathed, too, by the way. Not a scratch on his ass. How did that happen? cold as hell in here too by the way I don't know how he escaped that she's going down there on foot they had a... yeah chopper has no idea what's going on Not everybody in the back heard that, though. I can't believe this little kid. 
no idea how he's alive. I understand people don't die. Zero idea how he's alive. Zero. <coughs> Man's been sliced, shot, unattended to. She's gonna trip, isn't she? Okay, good. Y'all need to collect some of this rain, by the way. Look at Zoro, by the way. Just gash to hell and back. Oh, so he got Luffy out of there. Who got Nico's ass? <clears throat> and I've been told that it'll be explained why there's a difference between some humans like what Zoro and Sanji are able to do and like what Nami and Yusup are not able to do Oh, he got Nico and the King out of there and then collapsed. What the hell happened with that poison? Did it just not? I don't know. Who knows? But there, I'm. I don't know when it's gonna happen. Five episodes from now. Five hundred episodes from now. I don't know if I can wait that long. I'm just gonna keep questioning it until. <laughs> We get answers, but there's a difference between like you, you've got Devil's Fruit users like over here, you've got like Sanji and Zoro over here, and then you have like Nami's and Usup's over here. You know, Devil's Fruit, you understand why that separates them from regular humans, but how the hell Sanji and Zoro are doing what they are doing compared to TBD? Everyone's exhausted as hell. They all need medical care. Oh, shit. He's just out there sprawled out. They're coming to arrest his ass. Even, but can they, though? Because he's a... I don't know. <clears throat> is he gonna just get off with like a slap on the wrist because he's a warlord or how does that work out you think the other warlords would fight to protect him or break him out or anything like that ooh She's stripping him of his titles. Question, though. How do we actually handcuff him? You have the special handcuffs that prevent him from, like, using his abilities to just phase through that shit? I guess it was made to be seen there that they got all the members that had infiltrated both sides. They had them all piled up there in the city. No idea how this man's alive. And a lot of dead bodies out there.
So is he gonna <clears throat> is he just gonna hand everything over to VV or is he just gonna keep um keep doing what he's doing? So the only casualty of this whole thing was Pell. If Pell shows back up, I will never believe death is possible in this show. <laughs> Um, and the four useless special group Elite Four members that were on screen for 15 seconds and died without doing anything. Yeah, why speak of this? It wasn't nobody gained anything or won. Halfway? We are. Damn. We're about to say goodbye to Vivi. I mean, I'm sure we'll see her again, but, like, I think she's just going to get replaced by, um, Miss Robin. Who's she? Is she above him? Who is she? It's a brand new character. A white hunter. Who is she? So did... Artificial rain making ship. So Smoker is responsible for the rain. Did he think, did he know that that was going to have the effect that it had? <clears throat> well, what's her name and what's her ability? <laughs> We didn't get a name. Oh, they wanted to arrest the Straw Hats. Perfect opportunity. Are your injuries okay? He's been sliced and shot multiple times. So it's artificial. Was that crocodiles? That was crocodiles artificial rain making ship. Did it, it does it not use the like forbidden powder to make rain it's just a ship that happens to make rain under x amount of circumstances like we don't know how it us as a viewer don't know how it does it not use the powder because he said he didn't want to go against the kings maybe it's just a ship that makes rain i was about to say i hope you're all out there collecting it so we got introduced to a new marine there no idea who she is or what her ability is is she the same rank as smoker <clears throat> That was a perfect chance for them to arrest too. And how did he survive that uh sand tornado that was coming for his ass, by the way? <laughs> Hope he's collecting that rain. city is destroyed.
falls endlessly, what do we mean by that? Like, just for this night? Or, like, for all time? We just randomly had a narrator come in and say that about the rain. Like, just for today? Or, like, this is a forever thing? <coughs> Where's uh, Miss Robin at? She's just looking at... The yeah, she wants to look at the rain. So the king said that he carried out... That Luffy carried out the king and Miss Robin. And I guess once he got them to safety, he just TKO'd. Miss Hina was her name? Hina. That was an awkward exchange. Thanks for your work. Appreciate it. She let them go. Yeah. Well, he told her it was her judgment to make. I really thought Smoker was going to show up and, like, have to throw hands. <clears throat> Yeah, she couldn't do it. I mean, what was she to do? Miss, like they didn't refer to her as um, they didn't refer to her as like General Hina, Captain, Major. You said miss. Man never runs out of cigars. And he goes through two at a time? Shit. <laughs> oh gosh how did he even know she was crying this is in front of everybody too by the way yeah she'll have a big part I don't know if she'll have a big part to play but I'm sure we're going to be running into this again <clears throat> Mm-hmm. 
I'm not going to say pirates did it. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, they're not going to say a bunch of pirates like took down a warlord. Correct. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. Even the whole, like, yeah, we're going to promote you guys. We want you to come to this medal. The medal ceremony sounded like, I don't know, it sounded like a trap. Maybe not kill them, but, like, we're going to threaten, like, hey, take these medals and this rank. Speak nothing of this. Wink, wink. Gun to your back type thing. Um, <clears throat> I would say that probably right now, I'm glad that that at least seemed to be that was softly wrapped up. We still have to have our gang all have their goodbyes with Vivi and all that stuff. But I've been saying this for, I guess, 50 or so episodes now. Um, I really do want to see the kind of, as we're getting introduced to more pirates, more warlords, more people of, like, aces caliber and crew, like, stronger than us pirates... I am also interested to see the um, the marine side. I hope that, I mean, because we're not even, because I don't even know at this point of the story the author even had it all written out, but um, as we keep meeting stronger pirates, you know, warlords, ace, pirates that are probably ten times stronger than them, you know, hopefully there's pirates that remain, like Luffy's here and pirates are here, other pirates are up here, so like we always have something to chase, but I hope that like as there's pirates up here, there's also marines that are at that level, you know, like a counteractive like power struggle here, because it'd be easy to just have all the pirates with these devil's fruit abilities and them just be overwhelming um, but never really show us that. But if we could have, like, someone that's just as strong to go just counterpart, that would be pretty dope. I do want to see, like, the Marine in there working. I wonder if we're going to... I mean, we got introduced to a new one right there. You know, he had a phone call talking about, you know, come in, we're going to give this medal ceremony. Are we, as the viewer, going to be a part of that? Or the next time we catch up with Smoker and the chick, it's just going to be them promoted up a level with a medal and all that so we'll see how it goes but yeah they're not going to tell the world that pirates took out one of their warlords that they promote and protect but was creeping behind their back and they didn't even know it and had to get situated by pirates like they're not just gonna reveal that um but for the most part the arc seems to be over um it had its points i thought seeing crocodile's abilities um was pretty dope like the uses of the sand um i mean luffy got his ass saved multiple if it wasn't for people helping him luffy dies probably two to three times i didn't understand the poison like it, the king said it was neutralized did somebody give him did you or nico give him something to neutralize that in the time that it took to like pull him out of there i don't know um because when we see Luffy, because we see Luffy so much use his abilities, use his abilities that it's kind of like tapped out on like what he get, like he'll give it different names and do shit, but it, it's just him extending and not extending, like what it comes down to. We'll see him like twist up and twist back out or blow up or blow back down or extend, but like we've seen it. So to see other people's Devil's Fruit abilities and then see them do their spe their ninjutsu with it, <laughs> um, it's pretty cool to see. But the, the arc was okay. I feel like it's easy to just lose the bigger picture of the arc, kind of lose the moments of it because it was just so long. And it wasn't like, and you know, you see other arcs like the Chimera Ant arc, it's long, you know, you could shave a good 20 episodes or so off of that. Um, Naruto War arc, you could shave a bunch of shit off of that. Um, 
Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power arc. We could slice that shit in, <laughs> in half. Um, but I felt like since this is like the early anime writing style, this is a lot drier and just like trugging through mud content than some of like the newer, like, you know, the Naruto, the, the Tournament of Power, the Hunter Hunter, like even though those are long drawn out arcs that you could do without, I feel like it's kept interesting. This here though was just, some of this shit was just really stretched. Um, but you kind of got to take that to consideration. I think the more I get closer to present writing, that the arcs might be, you know, just as long or even longer, but maybe the material will be a little more stimulating. That's just kind of my opinion on where we're at, but we'll see how it goes. So again, we're going to keep it same brightness, slap the logo on top, get an attempt at audio. We haven't done, we've never done any audio with One Piece, but they seem to be like on their shit. Um, so we'll try it. If they claim it, we'll take it right back down, um, put it right back up without the audio. We'll go from there. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. Always.